All right, so here it is, as promised, the video on how to do the brick wall assignment in Photo P. All right, so uh, we obviously got, we got this video here on how to do it in Photoshop, but as we kind of discovered, there's some, uh, some unique things about Photo P um, that we kind of have to work through. So I'm going to go ahead and show this to you here in this video. So again, with uh, this assignment, brick wall, uh, we're moving beyond just manipulating other people's photos and other people's designs, right? And we're moving into a whole new world where we're gonna create stuff out of nothing. So in this scenario, we're gonna go ahead and create a brick wall from scratch. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to Photopea. And open it up. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project. So file, new. And I want to create a standard piece of paper, which is eight and a half by 11. So I'm actually going to look over here under, if I go into prints and I look down here, there we go. I got letter, right? So that's a standard sheet of paper, a US sheet of paper, 8.5 inches by 11 inches. And my dots per inch is 300 uh, DPI. All right. So eight and a half by 11, 300 DPI. Go ahead and hit create. And that gives me a blank document here. Now, the first thing I need to do is in order to create my brick is I need some, uh, some guides here, some guidelines to use. So I'm gonna go up to view. So again, view at the top. I'm gonna go down to show. So view, show, and I'm gonna turn on grid. So view, show, grid. And that's gonna put this crazy grid here on my screen. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my rectangle select tool. And I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna zoom in. So I'm gonna hit control plus, zoom in until I can kind of see my grid pretty good. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and create a, a brick here. So to create a brick, again, I'm using my rectangle select tool. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and, well, let's just create the brick first. So I'm going to go ahead and start here. I'm going to go down about five um, little boxes, and I'm going to go over, I don't know, 11 or something like that. So just kind of try to get a brick shape. That looks like a good enough brick shape for me. All right. So I'm happy with that. So that was five down and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I was almost at 11, 10, 11. So if I went two further, I could, I could get 11. So let's see right about there. All right. That's pretty good. So about five down and 11 over roughly, right? If it's not exactly that, it's fine. It'll still work. Um, and then what we want to go ahead and do is we're going to create a new layer because we want to create these bricks on a new layer. So I'm going to go down here to the new layer button. Looks like a piece of paper down here on the bottom right by the trash can. And I'll go ahead and create a new layer. And then what I need to do is I need to decide what color do I want this brick to be. And in my world, I'm thinking uh, bricks are what? I don't know, red? Red sounds good to me. So I'm going to go over here in my in my foreground color, right? So I got foreground color, background color. So by default, foreground is black and background is white. So I'm gonna click on the black. That's my foreground color. And I can go in here and I'm just gonna kind of pick a red color that I like. That looks kind of brickish to me. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. So now my foreground color is set to red. So now I can go up to edit. So edit and I'll go down to fill. So edit, fill. And what do I want to fill my selection with? I want to fill it with foreground color. So make sure I'm on foreground because that's where I put my red. And I'll hit OK. And that filled my brick or my box with um, red. All right. Now what I need to do is I need to make multiple copies of this brick. So the way I can do that is if I hold down, I'm still on the marquee selection tool, right? So I haven't changed my tool. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm going to hold down the alt key and I'm going to click on my brick and I'm going to go ahead and drag it over and move it till there's about one square distance between the previous brick. And then I can let go and I'll let go of the control and the alt key at this point. And so now I got one copy. Now we need to make one more copy. So again, I'm going to hold down the control key again and the alt key again together. And I'm going to go ahead and click and drag down on my uh, rectangle here. I'm going to move it down so it's right in between the uh, two from above. And I'm going to put it one, again, one square below the other 
rectangles, okay, between the other bricks. All right, so now I kind of got my three brick pattern, pattern going here. So now I'm going to want to turn it into a pattern that I can use. So I'm going to go ahead and go here, select, deselect. And what I need to do is I need to make a selection of these bricks um, that is basically one row to the left of the bottom brick and one row below the bottom brick, but hits right on the edge of the bottom brick and hits right on the top of the other bricks. So here's what I mean, right? I'm going to go ahead and go here. I'm going to start right here because this is one row over from where the bottom of the brick is and right at the top of the top brick. And I'm going to drag this down until I get just below the bottom brick. I'm going to drag it over until I hit just the edge of that brick. All right, so hopefully you can see that on your screen. All right, so it, it goes right here along the top. And then it comes down and it's one row over. So I got my grout lines, right? So these are called grout lines, right? Because in the real world, when I put bricks, I'm putting them with mortar in between, right? Which is like cement or grout, right? So I have these kind of spaces between the bricks. They're not touching each other. So we want to show that, right? So we got one row here between the two bricks and we got a row here between the top and the bottom bricks. And we're also going to leave a row out here uh, between the bottom brick and a row below the bottom brick. Now in Photoshop this is real easy, but in Photopea this step is a little bit more complicated. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn off our backgrounds. We got our selection here. And I can't just turn this into a pattern stamp as is because the way Photopea works for some reason is it makes a pattern out of the entire document. And I don't want, I just want this little selection out of the document. So what I got to do is I'm going to go up to File. I'm going to go ahead and hit New. So File, New. And as you can see, it's going to create a new project, but it's changed the width and the height, right? So that's not the same as what we had before when I created this document because it was 8.5 by 11. So what it has actually done is it made the new uh, document the same size as my selection. So that's great for what we want to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit Create. And it creates this little tiny document, right? And this little tiny document is what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and go back here to my original document that has my brick pattern. And I'm going to go ahead and copy my selection here. So I got my selection still. I'm going to hit Control-C on my keyboard. So Control-C, which is Copy. I go over to my project and hit Control V for paste. Now, unfortunately, I don't know why it does this. It doesn't quite match up to what I want it to look like, but not a big deal. I'm just going to go to the Move tool, and with the thing I just copied, I'm going to move my bricks up so the bricks, the top bricks, are hitting the top of the image, and I'm going to move them over so it's hitting the edge of the image, and I'm going to move it down so it hits the bottom of the image. Right. So when it's done. What I want to see is the bricks are touching the top. The top bricks are touching the top of the image, and they're touching the side of the image. But they got a grout line going down the middle, and then they got a grout line going below the brick below. But there's also a grout line off to the left of the brick underneath, and a grout line underneath the brick underneath. All right. So you're trying to get this kind of image as close as you can. All right. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and turn off the background here again because I want this to be transparent when I do this, all right? Um, so now that I got this set up, I'm going to go up to Edit, and I'm going to go down to Define New, and I'm going to define a pattern. So Edit, Define New, Pattern. All right, and that saved that as a pattern, this entire document. All right, with the background turned off. I turned the background off before I did that, so I have a transparent background. All right, so now I'm going to go back to my new project, and we can start creating our brick wall here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and turn off my um, grid because I don't need that anymore. So I'll go to sh uh, View again, View at the top, Show, and turn off grid. All right, I also don't need these bricks I was using here before anymore. So I'm just going to go back to my selection tool, draw a selection around them, hit my delete key and get rid of them, all right? Because I would just want a blank, blank document. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and go select, deselect. All right. So I got a blank layer here, and I got the background still. And now what I need to do is I need to go ahead and fill this full of bricks. Um, so the way we did it in Photoshop, right, is we went down to edit, fill. Unfortunately, Photopea doesn't have the option to fill with a pattern. Don't know why. 
but it's not a big deal. So what we'll do instead is we'll go over here to our half circle, which is a new adjustment layer. And just like we kind of did on the last assignment where we put in a gradient fill on the pencil sketch assignment, right? Um, we're going to put in what's called a pattern fill. So we'll do a pattern fill instead. And you see we got some pattern options here. We're going to go ahead and click on that and we're going to find our brick pattern that we just created. All right. And there it is. I click on that. As you can see, it just filled my whole screen full of bricks. Awesome. That's exactly what I wanted, right? And I can go ahead and turn the properties off for that and that should be good. All right. And so again, I should have here, um, my background is turned off, so I should see a transparency coming through. And if I turn it on, it turns white. All right, if you don't have that, um, what you could do to fix that is you could go ahead and go here and go to the magic wands if you accidentally forgot to turn the background off when you created your bricks. And you could click on the white, right, and select all the white and then delete it. Um, it is going to come up and say you can't edit this layer. And in order to edit it, you got to click, right click on the layer and then click rasterize, all right? So that's just to help you out if you mess up because a lot of people mess up on that step. All right, but I didn't, so I got my background layer here as a different uh, layer, right? It's a white layer, and I got my red uh, brick layer. So my background layer, I want to go ahead and change the grout color, because white isn't really a realistic grout color. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pick a, like a gray color, I think, because that's a fairly realistic grout color. Or it could even be kind of a tan color. I don't know, somewhere up in there, something like that. All right, uh, I go ahead and hit OK. So that's selected my color. And then what I can go ahead and do is I'm on my background layer. So I'm going to go up to Edit, and I'll go down to Fill. So Edit Fill on my background layer. And I'm going to fill it with the foreground color, because that's where I just chose that color, and hit OK. All right, so now I got a color. I uh, don't love it. I'm going to go a little bit lighter. So there's more contrast between my brick. And fill it there with that. There we go, that looks a little bit better. All right, so we're starting to get our brick wall here, right? Looks pretty good. Um, but it doesn't look quite realistic yet, right? Still looks a bit cartoonish. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some texture to this. Again, this is really where we're going to have our background layer and our brick layer separate. Um, not just for the fact that we want different colors for our grout and our brick, right? Um, but we do want to add some texture here. So I'm going to go ahead and add texture first to the background layer. So I'll go up to Filter, and I'll go down to um, Noise, and go to Add Noise. Now on the, on the grout, I am going to leave monochromatic unchecked. And you know what? 20% is adding a decent amount of grout. So I'm going to leave it uh, 25%. That's OK. So 20, 25%, something like that should be good. I'm going to hit OK. So now I can see, right, if I zoom in, I can see I got a bunch of texture here with my grout. So that makes it, starting to make it look a bit more realistic. Now I'm going to do the same thing to my brick layer. So I, but you're going to notice you're going to have a problem here. So I'm going to go to Filter, right, Noise. I'm going to try to do it. Add Noise. It's going to say Layer is not editable. So what I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and right click on the brick layer, and I'm going to say Rasterize that layer. Now, now I can make changes to it. So now I can go up to Filter, and I can go down to Noise, and go to Add Noise, and it will let me, let me add noise. Now, I don't want the noise to look exactly the same as my grout noise, right? That doesn't look very realistic, right? It should be different. So first way I'm going to make it different is I'm going to go monochromatic, so that, that way the noise is only red. It's not speckled with other colors. And I'm going to lower the amount maybe a little bit, or change the amount, maybe go to like, 13%, just so it's a little bit different. All right, and then when I'm happy with that, I'm going to hit OK. So that, again, that's a start, right? Now I'm starting to get a little bit different flavor brick going on here. Um, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add even more kind of uniqueness to the brick, right? Because we look at a brick wall, it's not all solid the same like this, right? Some bricks are lighter, some bricks are darker, some's got chunks taken out of them, some of them have cracks, right? So we need to start adding all those fine details. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Dodge and the Burn tool. So the Dodge tool looks like a, like a lollipop here, right above the Text tool. And what the Dodge tool does is it makes things lighter. So this harkens back to the days of a dark room, 
um, where you'd actually take a stick with a piece of paper on it and like block out light. And when you blocked out light as you're exposing your photo, it'd make that part of the photo brighter. And if you wanted to, in a second here, we'll use the burn tool. If you wanted to make an area of your photo darker, you would cover all the light and then expose just one area to a little bit more light. And you actually do it with your hands. You just cup it over the, the light. So, so we're going to do kind of that idea here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to leave it. Hard brush should be fine. Uh, I'll go ahead and zoom in here and show you what I'm doing here. And kind of about that size looks good. And what I'm going to do is I just kind of, as I paint on this, it's just going to kind of lighten up this brick. All right. And I can do it another time if I want it even lighter. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of lighten up kind of the center of this brick here. And then I'll go pick another brick somewhere else randomly. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to lighten it up. All right. So again, we're just kind of creating a little bit of texture here to our bricks so that they're not all uniform. So again, I'll just go ahead and dodge and burn on these bricks here. Or sorry, right now I'm just dodging. So just dodging is just going to kind of lighten up the bricks. Now to save time, I'm not going to do the whole photo because I'm already going kind of long, right? But you get the idea there. So I've kind of lightened up some of the bricks. So we're just going to focus on this little area right here. I'll just do some randomly here. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and darken some of the bricks. So I'm going to go here and switch from the dodge tool to the burn tool. And again, the burn tool works very similarly, except for it does the opposite, right? It kind of makes the bricks darker. So if I just kind of paint with the burn tool, I'm going to go ahead and get kind of a darker effect on this. All right. And again, it can be pretty strong with this burn tool. So, so again, you can always go up here and kind of adjust your exposure. Um, so maybe I want to lower my exposure so I can do this in a little bit smaller steps. But again, we're just going to go ahead and keep kind of selecting some of our bricks and darkening them and lightening them. So we get so we start to get a bit of a different texture here, right? Um, and then what else do we have? So a lot of walls, right? A lot of the bricks have cracks in them. So what we'll go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer, right? A piece of paper down here by the trash can. Create a new layer. I'm going to take my paintbrush right here, and I'm going to switch it to a very hard brush, but I'm going to turn the size way down to like three or four pixels, all right? And then I'm going to change my color here to a pretty dark color. I can even go black if I want. I'm going to go just kind of a really dark, really dark red, all right? And then I'm just going to go ahead and I, I did, like I said, I created a new layer. So I'm doing this on a new layer. Anytime I paint something new, I want to do it on a new layer in case I want to delete it. Let me go up even a little bit more. Let's see how far it looks. And I'm just going to go in here and paint some cracks. All right. So that was a little bit, a little bit too dark. There we go. And right. Oh, there we go. All right, there's a crack maybe there. Maybe we add a crack over here. All right, these things just kind of have some cracks in them. So we're just going to go ahead and just randomly throw some cracks on our on our bricks here. All right, create them, make them look a little bit more realistic. All right, not perfect, but you get the idea, right? So we got some cracks, and so it's starting to look starting to look more and more realistic as we we're going here. All right, I could spend a little bit more time making these cracks look even more realistic, right? All right. I mean, in fact, in fact, a crack would probably become kind of thicker as it's towards the edge here, and then get thinner as it goes in. But anyhow. We don't have too much time to spend on this, right? So, um, pretty center this here for you. All right, and so the next thing I'm gonna do is, um, right, not every brick's probably gonna be perfect. Some of them are gonna have chip edges and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go to our eraser tool. All right, we learned about this 
um, with the last assignment we did, the, the text portrait. And I'm going to go ahead and just leave it as a hard brush, fairly small brush. I'm going to go back to my brick layer here. And I'm just going to go ahead and just like take off some of these edges on some of these bricks. All right? Look like maybe they got smoothed out when they were transported or something. Uh, maybe one got a chunk taken out of it, right? Got hit by a rock or something. All right, so again, just kind of adding some more details here to make it look a little bit more realistic. Um, again, I could spend quite a bit of time doing this. I'm really trying to rush through it because it's already been 20 minutes, right? I've been talking for a long time. All right, so again, just kind of taking chunks out here and there. And again, getting the bricks to just get some more detail in here so not everything's just a uniform and even like, like it was made by a computer, right? All right, and then the final step, what we're going to do here is we're going to at least, the final step I'm going to go through in this video is we're going to go here and we're going to um, kind of add some dimension to the bricks. So we're going to click on our brick layer and we're going to go down to uh, FX or FX, right, EFF. And we're going to add a, a bevel and emboss, all right? And again, unfortunately, Photopea is really slow. Now, we want to keep the size pretty small. Um, so actually, by default, this looks pretty good. So my size is only at like five, all right? If I want to adjust it, I can move it. But again, this thing goes so slow. So like I just made a move and I got to wait like five minutes for it to for it to do something. So I'm going to go back to like seven pixels, I think was pretty good. There we go. And depth is at 100%. And we're doing, well, let's see, outer bevel, what does that look like? Oh, outer bevel looks cool too. I think we, we want inner bevel though. I think that looks good. Let's see, inner bevel. Yeah, inner bevel. All right, and hit OK. All right, and these are just, this is basically the basic steps. Now, um, in class, we'll probably talk next class about how to create some like graffiti on there, or some other things to have some fun with it. Um, but for now, this is pretty good. Again, you want to do what I've done here in this small corner, right? All over the whole brick wall. Right now, the rest of the brick wall doesn't look very realistic because I've only kind of taken the time to, to make the edits to this one corner. So it's going to take you a little bit more time than it did me because um, I was kind of rushing through it. Uh, to really make it look good and make it look like a real brick wall, all right? So that's it. Uh, have some fun, and uh, I hope this video helped you.